14th in the year of our Lord, 2016. How are you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. Hey, it may be Monday, but it's only four more days to your big and eight Friday. That's right. me from going insane. Because you know beer is good for you, you hot diggity dog damn right it is. And did you know that today is National Potato Chip Day? Yum! I love me some National Potato Chip. I love potato chips every day. I prefer Doritos, but potato chips are awesome. Folks, today is National Pie Day. No kidding. And uh, thank you to my good friend Jennifer Gibson, an absolute sweetheart of a lady. Living in South Carolina. Big fan of Baron on today. Absolutely gorgeous. Total sweetheart that I know from good old Yeehaw Texas. She just sent this to me. Happy Pi Day. The Ring of Patriot style. Oh, Jen, you rock, sweetie. Yeah, you do. That's wicked pizza, girl. It sure is. Oh, yeah. Jen Gibson, I miss you big time. An administrative legend, a total sweetheart. Very dear friend of mine. And uh, we still need to feature you as a real baby today on Beer and Song today down the road. And folks, think about this. 314.16. Well, Pi rounds up to 3.1416, so 314.16. How awesome is that? That's wicked awesome. Uh, National Learn About Butterflies Day. Oh. National Children's Craft Day. God, I hope that's not poop. Oh. Well, we know kids will crap or poop sometimes, too. Kids. And then they get worn out. We all do. After Daylight Savings Time. Today is National Napping Day. Day after Daylight Savings Time. Don't worry, I slept long enough. I'm not tired. I'm ready to rock. And I hope you are all ready to rock as well. I'm feeling wicked good. It's a great day outside. 83 degrees. Perfectly sunny. Awesome stuff. Folks, let's bust out today's beer of the day. Before I do that... Almost forgot to bring out our, today's unofficial sponsor of our show. That would have been absolutely criminal. Love these guys. They rock. They're working on a new album right now. My good friend Nate Gore and his phenomenal band, Sadistic Cadaver. Death metal right down here in good old Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. Pretty much the same damn state. Sadistic Cadaver. Go follow their page. Go check them out. They're nuts. They're badasses. They're awesome. And Nate Gore, you're awesome. We're going to talk about you more shortly. So this the cadaver, folks. Go follow on that page. You'll love it. Today's beer of the day, boys, girls, and it's Sam Adams Holiday Porter. 5.8% alcohol by volume. Above average of strength. Above average of flavor. Out of Boston, Massachusetts. Greatest city in the world. No doubt about that. Love this stuff. It's the last one I got. Probably opening up brass. Pump technique. Here we go. And right into the Route 66 Big Assumption Apparatus, perfect for Blues Monday. 45 to grand right into the Big Assumption Apparatus, right over the keyboard, because I'm sad, damn good, have a spell drop yet, never have, never will. <laughs> Cheer the bears, all of you, pro say Germany, goodbye, and say in Japan. Mm. Oh my god. Oh god, that's so awesome. That is wicked awesome. Wow, it's Michel Genille, French for wicked awesome. You know what I'm saying, eh? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I get it indeed. You guys get a lot of my neighbors up north, and I do that on Baron Song of the Day every single day of the week. Leany. Yepers, I do. And uh, it is Mustache Madness Month. I got the mustache growing, and you wouldn't know it because I suck at growing facial hair. But, hey, it is what it is. Better to support than, and fail than to not support at all, my friends. All right, well, we got a bunch of birthday shout-outs to give. And right off the bat, an incredible, incredible uh, country music radio DJ up in uh, Buffalo, New York, my man, my buddy, Jimmy Jam, hell yeah, Jimmy, happy birthday to you, my brother from another mother, how you doing, hope you're doing well, big time wicked hardcore, legit noble Buffalo Bills fan, as he should be, he's from upstate New York originally, and still living up there, with his wonderful gorgeous better half, Margot Collins, an absolute sweetheart, and a big time Patriots fan, I may add, but Jimmy, I know Margot Spawn, you're right. I'm sure she is. You two are an incredible couple. We're going to meet in person someday. It must happen. You two are absolutely wicked awesome. And Jimmy, happy birthday, my man. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And a big hearty cheers and beers to you, brother. Folks, you got to go check them out. WCJW Country Music Radio. They're awesome. He's awesome. He does the morning show. He's absolutely amazing. All right. Well, next on the list, 
This young man celebrating a milestone birthday. It's scary because I remember when he was born. He's 21 today. You know what that means? Yes, you can drink adult beverages legally there, John Fontaine. The wonderful son of my dear friends, Jeff and Maria Fontaine. And golly, I remember when they were 21. He's known them a long time. That Fontaine family absolutely loved them, adore them. And uh, John... Happy milestone birthday to you. I know Kiana's going to spoil your rotten. She's an absolute sweetheart. Miss you guys big time. John, happy milestone birthday, brother. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969. Minus the acid. And cheers and beers to you. And if you're driving, you better not be drinking. If you're drinking, you better not be driving. So have a drink. Have Kiana drive for you, will you? Hell yeah. Next on the list, I've known this wonderful sweetheart of a lady for, good God, 28 years. Known her since freshman year of high school, Kendra Lopes. I knew her growing up at Kendra Willett. Kendra Lopes, prior to Eggertown, Massachusetts, Martha Vineyard Island, and a fine arts damn graduate of Martha Vineyard Beach High School, class of 1991. The best damn graduating class in the history of mankind, womankind, and it kind. I know I was there too. And Kendra, happy birthday to you, my friend. What's going on with you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Like, I never forget your birthday. I've never forgotten it. Never have, never will. And I know you're living it up. I hope you're having a lot of fun. Miss you big time. Happy birthday, my friend. Kendra, a big hearty cheer the beers to you. Next on the list. Nora from Mafia Wars. And criminal case now, too. My friend, Cree Cree Baker. No relation. She's got two K's in her name. B-A-K-K-E-R, like Jim and Tammy Faye, but a hell of a lot better. Cree Cree, happy birthday to you. What's going on with you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the help on the criminal case. Always appreciate the help on the Mafia Wars, too. And we help each other out so we get stronger so that we can crush the opposition. It's a lot of fun, but nobody gets hurt for real. And Cree Cree, happy birthday, my friend. And hey, a big cheers of beers to you. Next on the list. She's a longtime friend on the old uh, criminal case, and she's a legend on there. Wendy Hokinson. Wendy, what's going on with you? Wendy C. Hell yeah, she's phenomenal. She's awesome. Criminal case master. No doubt about that. We have a lot of fun on there. And Wendy, happy birthday to you, my friend. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're living it up and have a lot of fun and enjoying the day. I know I am. So hey, let's celebrate together. Hell yeah. Happy birthday and a cheers and beers to you. And the final birthday of the day goes to my good friend, Catherine Moore. Another wonderful mafia on the old Mafia Wars. And Catherine, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Happy birthday to you. Hope you're celebrating in style. Styling and profiling like Ric Flair. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! There you go, Catherine. Well, hey, happy birthday, my friend. And a big cheers of beers to you. All right. Folks, we burned through the birthday shout-outs for today. Awesome stuff. We had ourselves a hell of a trivia question. And this got more action than Jenna Jameson in her prime. Ah, <laughs> yeah. What does the military term AWOL, A-W-O-L, stand for? There are so many of you on there that chimed in and said absent without leave. Which, hey, you know what? Some sources actually do say that. But that's not the official term. It's absent without official leave as our good friend Debbie Garrett the pride of Oklahoma, otherwise known as Northern Texas. Bet Debbie, you absolutely nailed it. Wicked awesome job. And a big, long doctor salute to you. Oh, hell yeah. There you go, because like Smith Barney, you made it the old fashioned way. You earned it. <clears throat> Not that. Cheers and beers to you, my dear. Hell yeah. Way to go. I like what Kevin Sherman said. Absent without liquor. <laughs> yeah, I'd be absent-minded without liquor. I know that. I'd be absent-minded without beer. A-W-B. Absent without beer, that's a crime in my opinion. But hey, um, a lot of great action on there. Really appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, folks, you know what? I got something cool to mention. Because, see folks, this is awesome. This is a fun part. It's that time of the week. It is... Yes, it is. Yeah. Hey, let's try that again. This is what we wanted to hear first. It's that time, folks. It's time to announce this week's fan of the week winner. 
best band of the week was phenomenal. They shared the show every single day. I think they are the ones that brought a whole bunch of new fans to the page. Yes. Um, our page is growing like wildfire at this rate. We, wait. At this rate, we could be at 2,500 likes by the end of the month. That would be absolutely incredible. So I got a goal. I want 2,500 likes on the Bears on the Facebook page by the end of the month. And this guy's been helping out big time. And we got ourselves a new face for the Fan of the Week album. And without further ado, this week's Fan of the Week winner is... That's what I meant to do before. Nate Gore! Nate Gore of Sadistic Cadaver! How about that, huh? Nate Gore, you BMF, you earned it. You are the fan of the week for this week on uh, March 14th. You did it. Brother, thank you for your support. Hell yeah, you support like a double D bra. Underwire. That's support, baby. Nate Gore, I'm giving you the one not the salute. Oh, hell yeah. There you go. You know what? You're getting the cowbell. You're getting the John Dixon official cowbell. A fan of the week winner. Hail to Anthony Abu. There you go. Rock on with your bad self, brother. Ooh, yeah. Ah. Had to give you the Ronnie James deal in 1974. Devil horns. You are a heavy metal man. Hey, you know what? I forgot to give uh, Debbie Garrett. I always like giving the cowbell to the trivia question winner. So, Debbie, sorry for the delay, but it's never late to never. You earned it. You deserve it. Hell yeah, let's drink, folks. And my friend Jennifer Gibson just chimed in and said, Oh, I'm making two Dutch apple pies today. Mmm. Oh, Jen, you total sweetheart. You're making me hungry. Yes, you are. Don't worry, we're having a homemade chicken pot pie for... I, don't, I lied, no one. Else. We're having homemade penny for uh, dinner tonight. Popeyes of tomorrow night. But anyway, folks, we do have a few additional shout-outs i got to give real quick. Like my man Josh McKernan. Now, here's an administrative legend leg and a phenomenal young man that I know down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as West Louisiana. Josh, a great man with a great first name, I might add. And brother, I'm telling you right now, internet is worthless than tits on a board down here in good old Abilene, Yeehaw, Texas, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It's bad. It's wicked bad. But you know what? We plug through, we make things happen anyway. Better, hey, it's better to have a little bit than none at all. That's the way I look at it. I try to look at the glasses half full instead of half empty. Even though this beer is less than half full, it's still not empty yet. But Josh, you're a hell of a guy. And brother, cheers a beer to you. All right. It would not be Blues Monday if I didn't give some love to my good friends John and his wicked awesome better half, Rebecca Peterson. John's the biggest blues aficionado I know outside of myself. And uh, Rebecca, she supports that decision big time. She's an absolute sweetheart. John and Rebecca Peterson, you two are absolutely wicked awesome. No doubt about that. It's only fitting that I give you some love on beer and song today, for I am the love doctor. And that's what I do. Spread love and cheer among the land. So John and Rebecca... Hey, cheer the beers to the two of you. Tell ya. Well, we got to go ahead and bring out today's vehicle instrument and pen of the day, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. So let's make it happen. Today's vehicle of the day. How about... Now, my favorite basketball player of all time is the Chocolate Thunder, Daryl Dawkins, the late, great, legendary badass that broke backboards and he caused us to have to have plexiglass instead of just glass for the backboards. But this... Young man is a classy, classy dude, phenomenal basketball player. He has taken the Golden State Warriors and made them one of the greatest teams in history. No doubt about that. This young man right here, Stephen Curry, of course, the son of the legendary Chicago, I mean, uh, not my ass, Chicago, my ass. Uh, Charlotte Hornets, badass. Um, Del Curry. This is the son of Del Curry. Del Curry, an absolute class act. Stephen Curry, also very much a class act, and that's his Range Rover. Stephen Curry, Range Rover, there's your vehicle of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. Hell yeah, baby. Riding and styling and profiling. Stephen Curry, a phenomenal, phenomenal guy. And look at that with his microphone and his daughter. That is so cute. Stephen Curry's microphone. How about that for an instrument of the day? Why not? He's got his little girl up there with him. Hell yeah. Wicked awesome. I love it. Del Curry's a dog lover. Look at that. Him and his beautiful family right there. And their doggy. Aww. 
That's your pet of the day, our Baird Saga today. Awesome stuff right there. Stephen Curry, a great man indeed. And uh, folks, did you know that it is Mustache Madness Month? I already said that. And Stephen Curry, though he doesn't grow a very solid mustache. I mean, hey, he's 28 years old today. Happy birthday, uh, Stephen Curry. You are our hunk of the day on Baird Song of the Day. As we bring out this week's uh, theme for blues, prison work songs. No kidding. Now, this is uh, a version of the Rock Island Line, one of the earliest um, versions. Rock Island Line, September 27th, 1934. The convicts of Cummins Farm in Gould, Arkansas. Wow. This song is 80 one years old. Listen to that. There's your hug of the day on Bear Song of the Day, Stephen Curry. Birthday boy, 28, doing great. Right in his prime. Golden State Warriors, number 30, in his mustache. We'll Apologize for the lighting. Let's see if I can move this. Getting that glare going. We do have a bunch of celebrity birthdays today. Stephen Curry being one of them, of course, 28, doing great. And there's a gorgeous sweetheart of a lady, uh, model, actress model, Sasha Clay. She's 28, definitely looking great. Um, Albert Einstein, how about that guy? With one of the most famous, iconic mustaches of all time, Albert Einstein, born on this date, 1879. He passed away in 1955. Uh, Simone Biles, African-American gymnast, absolutely phenomenal. She's 19 years old today. Uh, Zella Lair, L-E-H-R. Zella Lair, uh, country musician, country singer. She's 65 years old today, milestone birthday. Billy Crystal, phenomenal actor, host of the uh, Oscars for many years. Uh, Billy Crystal, 68, doing great. Santino Marella! I wonder if the WWE is going to do anything special for his birthday today. Because Santino Marella is 37 years old today. Two absolute legends were born this day, 1933. Michael Caine, absolutely amazing actor. And Quincy Jones, absolutely amazing um, musician, songwriter, uh, Film writer Quincy Jones and Michael Caine, two absolute icons, both 83 years old today. Taylor Hansen, one of the most feminine dudes in history, him and his little bitch brothers. Hansen, God, what a bunch of little girls. They look like little girls. Taylor Hansen, hard to believe he's 33 years old today. And you know what? Still looks like a little girl. Megan Follows, actress. Uh, child actress famous for um, Anna Green Gable. She's actually 48 years old now. The late, great Kirby Puckett. An absolute icon and a class act all the way. Minnesota Twins his whole career. Uh, Kirby Puckett, born in 1960, sadly passed away at the age of 46 years old in 2006. Um, all kinds of health problems. Rachel Hilbert, gorgeous model. 21 years old. And hey! Rachel Hilbert and John Fontaine, born the exact same month, day, and year. How about that? If that ain't wicked awesome, I don't know what is. And finally, former hug of the day on Baron Song of the Day, Adrian Smed. We knew him as the partner of William Shatner on the TV show T.J. Hooker. Adrian Smed, former hug of the day, phenomenal actor. He is 62 years old today. Awesome stuff. So there you go, Stephen Curry. Your hug of the day on Baron Song of the Day. Definitely the uh, best player in the NBA right now, in my opinion. I think he's got LeBron beat personally. May, others may not. The pride of Davidson University. He took Davidson from nothing and made them into a um, phenomenal, phenomenal um, NCAA tournament bracket-busting bunch of badasses. I really was hoping they would win a championship. That would have been incredible. But yeah, Stephen Curry, he was Davidson. And he is now Golden State as well. The man dresses very well, very sharp. A handsome man, a class act. And my God, can he play some serious basketball. Yes, he can. Stephen Curry, big fan of this guy. Probably my favorite player since uh, Daryl Dawkins. Look at that with the boat. Hey, I did Justin Dimon over at Prosper. Yippers. Wow. All right, so there you go. Let's drink to that, shall we? All right, for those that have sensitive eyes, you may not want to see this next part. 
unless you don't mind bare female boobies. Because see, Sasha Gray, before she became a mainstream actress and model, <laughs> she was a porn star. Yeah, baby. And she may have had this, The Longest Train I Ever Saw. That's the name of this song. The Longest Train I Ever Saw. The convicts of Bellwood Prison Camp, Atlanta, Georgia, from recorded December 11th to 12th, 1934. Long time ago. Some great music. Here you go. Longest train I ever saw. Maybe Sasha Gray ran that train. I don't know. Look out! Bear boobies! Nudity! Sasha Gray. Good God! You don't like it? She's got a word for you. Oh, that's the best way. Ready to find her with clothes on. I had to find. I had to search long and hard to find her with clothes on. Bikini with a little bit of bush hanging out. Can't really see it on here, but love that picture. Beautiful. Look out! Not bald. She sure does like to show that finger. She sure is beautiful. Sasha Gray. G-R-E-Y, folks. Hey, I understand. 1997, 68-year-old Gordy Howe, hockey legend, signed an American Hockey League contract, AHL contract with the Syracuse Crunch. Wow. He's still with us today. Having health issues, but he's still with us. Oh, my God. I want to say, 1985, bicycle rider Michael Seacrest, the United States, completed his 24-hour ride. 516 miles forward and 27 yards. That's a lot of bike riding in 24 hours. I want to say, in 1983, OPEC cuts oil prices for the first time in 23 years. Wow. Look out. Uh -huh. I want to say, in 1978, the, uh, any, the NFL, rather, at, permanently adds a seventh official, the side judge. Very important. Uh, I want to say in 1972, the NBA's Cincinnati Royals announced that they are moving to Kansas City. Of course, they became the Kansas City Kings, and they were the Kansas City Kings from 1973 to 1985, and then moved on to Sacramento, where they're still at today as of now. Oh, my goodness. And Jimmy Jim, you and Sal Capaccio will know this. Prior to being the uh, Cincinnati Royals from 1946 to 72, it was 56 to 72 or 47. Oh, God, they were the Syracuse. Were they the Syracuse Nationals? Jimmy Jim, this is going to trade a question for your uh, daily trivia. Uh, they were Syracuse originally. They were when the Syracuse Royals, the Syracuse Kings. I cannot think of what they were. Folks, if anybody knows what the Cincinnati Royals were before they were the Cincinnati Royals when they were in Syracuse, let me know. And I'll give you a standing ovation on Dr. Salute on Beer and Song today for Two for Thursday. How about that? Deal? Deal. Whoa. The hottest house in Wonderland I've ever seen. On this day in 1950, FBI's 10 Most Wanted Fugitive Program begins. On this day in 1933, the Civilian Conservation Corps begins tree conservation. Thumbs up to that. On this day in 1931, the first movie theater built for rear movie project projection. And that was in New York City. How about that? Prior to that, probably had the movie projector right in everybody's face in the way. On this day in 1923, God, she's hot. President Warren G. Harding, probably the coolest thing he ever did. He became the first president to pay taxes as he filed an income tax return. Yep, sure did. Had to pay out. And now presidents all have to pay. I can't believe they didn't pay taxes prior to then. What makes them better than anyone else, right? Just saying. I say 1903. Good God! Um, na first National Bird Reservation established in Sebastian, Florida. And finally on this day in 1743, the first American town meeting, of course, Boston's Faneuil Hall, which we also know as Quincy Marketplace. Been there many times. Great place to go. Let's drink a slam at home, shall we? In two gulps. 
That's just brain cells of an average. More Joe Canadians, Fanny. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, remember like to be. Folks, I'm going to look a fetus to head out to my ticket. We're going to have some night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spare a drink. I might kill yourself or somebody else and drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. But what's dumber than that is being a fan of Justine. Oh, I should have been swallowed because I'm such a little bitch. Yeah, you are, you little bitch. Beaver! But what's dumber than that, though, is men's like women. Or animal abuse. Or racism. Or people who watch on bets. Or fake friends. Or anybody who supports friends was a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Or ISIS. Arr. Things like that are just plain stupid. And they like deserve a B. Fat. G. F. Y. Folks, I'll see you all tomorrow on 2 for Tuesday under 26 minutes. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.